Recently, scientists have made fascinating discoveries of hidden corridors and puzzling chambers within the Great Pyramid. This so-called mystery door, found during a daring robot-led mission, still puzzles people and seems to hint at many secrets. Nobody really knows what's behind this strange entryway, making it a mystery that keeps people curious. The small and complicated pathways leading to this door, the exciting suggestion of hidden rooms, and all the different ideas people have about it all add up to the spooky excitement of the unknown. What looks like just a regular slab of limestone with copper bits attached to it has become a symbol of a deep, mysterious history that we might be able to discover. But the door hasn't been opened yet, and its secrets are still hidden, waiting for someone to uncover them. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu, or the Pyramid of Cheops, was built during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu, of the 4th dynasty of ancient Egypt, approximately between 2580 and 2560 BC. British author and researcher Graham Hancock had some very interesting comments on the Great Pyramid, suggesting that the Great Pyramid is not merely a tomb, but a monument with a profound astronomical and spiritual symbolism. He proposes that its construction involved advanced knowledge and techniques that were far more sophisticated than what mainstream archaeology knows. One of the key elements of Hancock's theory is the alignment of the Great Pyramid with specific celestial bodies, particularly the constellation Orion. He argues that the positioning of the pyramid's passages and chambers corresponds to the stars of Orion's belt during the epoch of 10,500 BC. This alignment, according to Hancock, indicates a deep connection between ancient civilizations and the cosmos. Furthermore, Hancock highlights the remarkable precision and engineering feats displayed in the construction of the Great Pyramid. He questions how the ancient Egyptians could have achieved such precision with the tools and technology traditionally attributed to them. The Great Pyramid is a truly mysterious structure. The entrance can be found on the northern side, positioned approximately 18 meters above the ground. A sloping passageway extends from this entry point, leading through the pyramid's interior structure, piercing the rocky foundation upon which the pyramid rests and culminating in an unfinished underground chamber. Connected to the descending corridor is an ascending pathway that guides visitors to the Queen's Chamber, as well as a grand slanting gallery spanning a length of 46 meters. At the upper end of this gallery, a long and narrow passage grants access to the main burial chamber, commonly referred to as the King's Chamber. This chamber boasts complete linings and a roof made of granite. Within the chamber, two slender shafts traverse the masonry obliquely, extending towards the exterior of the pyramid. The purpose of these shafts whether religious or for ventilation, remains unknown. Positioned above the king's chamber are five compartments, each separated by sturdy horizontal granite slabs. These slabs are believed to have been installed to safeguard the burial chamber ceiling, deflecting the immense pressure exerted by the massive layers of masonry above. It is worth noting that the technological expertise displayed in the construction of the Great Pyramid continues to baffle scholars and other individuals to this day. Renowned Egyptologists Bob Breyer and Hoyt Hobbs have provided their insights on this matter. Erecting pyramids due to their colossal size presented unique challenges in terms of organization and engineering. To illustrate, the construction of Pharaoh Khufu's Great Pyramid necessitated the shaping of over 2 million blocks, ranging in weight from 2 to over 60 tons, into a massive structure that spanned an area equivalent to two football fields. Its remarkable pyramidal form soared 480 feet into the sky. This undertaking involved coordinating vast numbers of workers, which in turn posed intricate logistical quandaries concerning provisions, accommodations, and overall management. The process entailed not only quarrying and hoisting countless heavy stone blocks to considerable heights, but also precisely fitting them together to achieve the desired shape. The true original name of the Great Pyramid remains a mystery to this day. But some scientists believe that it originally was called Ahad Khufu, which translates to Horizon of Khufu or Khufu's Horizon. Khufu, also known as Pharaoh Khufu or King Cheops, who was the Egyptian pharaoh during whose reign the pyramid was constructed around 2580 to 2560 BCE. However, it's important to note that the ancient Egyptians did not leave behind written records, specifically referring to the pyramid by their original names. So, the true original name of the Great Pyramid is not definitely known. Moreover, one of the most famous discoveries in the Great Pyramid that scientists around the world cannot explain is the discovery of the mysterious door. During the Uphold Project, a robotic exploration mission initiated by German engineer Rudolf Gottenbrick, a small robot named Uphold 
was sent to explore the narrow shafts leading from the Queen's chamber. As it ventured into one of the shafts, Upholt encountered a limestone slab with two copper fittings set into the door-like structure, aptly named Guttenbrink's door. This Guttenbrink's door immediately became the subject of fascination and debate within the archaeological community. Its existence raises questions about the intentions of the pyramid's builders and the potential significance of the hidden chambers beyond. Some theories suggest that these chambers could contain valuable artifacts, while others propose that they might house ancient texts or even the remains of a pharaoh. And exploring Guttenbrink's door posed significant technical challenges. The narrow dimensions of the shaft and the limitations of the robotic exploration equipment made it difficult to further investigate the sealed door. The lack of accessible technology at the time meant that researchers had to leave the mystery unresolved, fueling the desire to uncover the secrets that lay beyond the enigmatic barrier. So, over the years, numerous speculations and theories have emerged regarding the purpose and contents of the chambers concealed behind Guttenbrink's door. Some propose that these chambers might hold crucial knowledge about ancient Egyptian culture, advanced technology, or astronomical observations. Others believe they could be burial sites of an unknown queen or an undiscovered royal family. While Guttenbrink's door remains closed to this day, recent technological advancements hold promise for future exploration. Improved robotic systems, such as those equipped with miniature cameras and remote sensing capabilities, may allow researchers to further investigate the sealed chambers beyond the door. Non-invasive techniques, such as thermal imaging and ground-penetrating radar, could also aid in uncovering the mysteries hidden within the Great Pyramid. When considering the potential exploration of Guttenbrink's door and the hidden chambers, it is essential to balance scientific curiosity with preservation and ethical considerations. The delicate nature of the pyramid structure and historical significance demands caution and careful planning to avoid any damage or disturbance to the ancient monument. Additionally, the scientists mentioned in their statement that they employed ground-penetrating radar as an additional method to collect data about the corridor. Scientists have been aware for a number of years that there existed a concealed entity behind the north face of the pyramid. The announcement regarding the discovery of a void situated there was made in 2016. However, it is only recently that they have managed to uncover this corridor, measuring a remarkable 30 feet in length. Back in 2017, scientists made headlines by revealing the existence of a substantial void above the Grand Gallery of the Pyramid, spanning approximately 98 feet in length. However, a comprehensive examination of this void is still pending, as a more detailed analysis has not been carried out thus far. During a news conference, Zaha Hawass, who previously served as Egypt's Antiquities Minister, suggested that the 30-foot-long corridor was likely designed to alleviate the stress caused by the weight of the building materials on the Great Pyramid. Howes highlighted that this corridor is positioned behind a chevron-shaped structure, which serves the purpose of distributing the weight effectively, as reported by the Egyptian newspaper Aram Online. Procure concurred with the notion that the corridor could have been a connection to the construction of the chevron structure. Sharing his perspective, Procure speculated that the corridor might have served as an initial experiment or trial run for the chevron design, which was subsequently implemented at a higher position within the pyramid. In his assessment, Procure expressed that this is merely an educated guess, based on the available evidence and understanding. According to Reg Clark, an Egyptologist from Swansea University who is independent of the study, it is his belief that the small corridor with a gabled roof possibly served as a relieving chamber above the original descending entrance passage of the pyramid. Clark expressed his skepticism regarding the likelihood of significant discoveries within the corridor, indicating that the finding itself may not lead to any major breakthroughs. I doubt whether the passage will lead to anything of any other significance, as with many of these structural innovations in the pyramids, which were designed for pragmatic reasons by the Egyptian tomb builders, Clark said. They are often the victim of wishful thinking, by those looking for pyramid mysteries, and thus, sadly, frequently the subject of wild speculation in the press and media. A multinational scientific team has put forth a proposal to utilize more advanced and sensitive muon detectors, with the aim of potentially detecting artifacts within the corridor and the larger void situated above the Grand Gallery. In order to proceed with this plan, the team has successfully obtained approval from the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities and is currently in the process of seeking funding to support their research efforts. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification.